Hey, it's Crypto Bobby, and today I want to talk to you about Bitcoin Gold and why I really don't think Bitcoin Gold has that much of a substantial future in cryptocurrency and why I think that the fork that you're probably going to want to pay more attention to really in the long run is Segwit2x. Not necessarily that I'm a fan of either Bitcoin Gold or Segwit2x, um, but I want to talk to you about why I think Bitcoin Gold uh, might struggle in the marketplace and why the second I get my Bitcoin Gold, I plan on selling it immediately for Bitcoin to increase my Bitcoin stack and basically get myself a nice little bit of a free dividend there. So let's hop into that. Let's hop into that discussion today. Now, Bitcoin Gold, if you're not familiar with it, Bitcoin Gold is going to be a, uh, a forked cryptocurrency from Bitcoin. And the big differentiating factor for Bitcoin Gold is that the big differentiating factor for Bitcoin Gold is that if we pop down to features, it's a couple different things. Um, you can hear about fair distribution. It's going to talk about replay protection and transparency. Um, really, the only differentiating factor for Bitcoin Gold, in my opinion, is the fact that they're trying to implement a new proof of work algorithm called Equihash, which makes mining decentralized again, makes America great again, or makes mining decentralized again. <laughs> and uh, really, the purpose of this Equihash mining algorithm is that you can no longer use ASICs or you can't use ASICs or theoretically as at the time being, you can't use ASICs to mine uh, Bitcoin gold. You're going to have to use GPUs. Now, if you're not familiar with what this means, if you're not familiar with Bitcoin mining, basically Bitcoin started off uh, when Bitcoin started off back in 2009, 2010, you, you used to be able to mine Bitcoin utilizing your CPU. So you could use your computer and you could mine Bitcoin and actually get a legitimate amount of Bitcoin by mining simply using your CPU. Then one day somebody realized, hey, my uh, GPU is actually much more powerful than my CPU uh, and I can start mining with my GPU. And that kind of pushed the mining uh, over to people stopped really mining with CPUs because they realized the GPUs were much more powerful for a while people mined Bitcoin with their GPUs. And then one day somebody realized, why don't I create uh, an application specific, uh, basically an application specific computer that's sole purpose is to mine Bitcoin and to run the algorithm to mine Bitcoin. Uh, and that is the creation of ASICs. And now there are these big, expensive, um, hard to get, very centralized things called ASICs where you pretty much need them to mine a bit to mine Bitcoin. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything if you utilize a CPU or a GPU. So it's an interesting it's an interesting concept that, you know, Bitcoin gold might allow people to mine again with GPUs. But there are a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there that allow you to mine with the GPU and don't really support ASICs and have not had their algorithm kind of solved by ASICs yet. Um, you know, whether it's, whether it's been something like Ethereum that's been primarily GPU based, there's a lot of primarily GPU based cryptocurrencies, uh, or mining crypto mining. And then there's also, I mean, things as, as much as like Vertcoin. I mean, that's the big, if we go down here on Vertcoin and I'm not a, haven't put any money in Vertcoin, not a massive fan of Vertcoin by any stretch, but it's the very much the same exact value proposition of mining should be fair and easy. And we want, we're not going to allow ASICs on our network and you can just deploy our mining with one click. So Bitcoin gold is very much while they're trying to say, you know, we're differentiated from Bitcoin. We're different. Um, it's the same thing as anything else that just tries to use its value proposition as a non ASIC mining cryptocurrency. Outside of that is very much basically a rip off of Bitcoin in terms of the supply, in terms of the block interval, the block size. Um, so, I mean, looking at that, I think that, um, you know, looking at it, I I don't see a massive differentiation in terms of what Bitcoin Gold is trying to do and what is available on the marketplace right now. And for that reason, I, I'm not massively, I'm not just not a big fan of it. And I think that, you know, a lot of other companies have come out and said some fairly disparaging things. And I talked about this the other day in my video, which I'll link to up here, where I talked about my own personal fork strategy of how I'm playing the fork or how I'm planning to invest in the fork. And if you look over here, Bittrex has said they're actually going to support Bitcoin gold to the to the sense where 
if you have Bitcoin in your balance, then you are going to receive Bitcoin gold, but they're actually not going to open up a market for Bitcoin gold because of four pretty negative reasons regarding a lack of fully formed consensus code, a lack of replay protection. Uh, Bitcoin gold says they have replay protection, but apparently uh, Bittrex disagrees. Uh, a lack of adequate code testing and, and external audit per se, and then just a lack of, of publicly known code developers. So Bittrex has come out, pretty much ripped uh, Bitcoin Gold's development team to shreds, um, kind of calling, calling, a, calling a bluff on some of this highlighted, some of these highlighted facts for Bitcoin Gold. And Coinbase has come out and said some different things, different some similar things as far as them them just not being sure of the security and the uh, the value behind Bitcoin uh, behind Bitcoin Gold. Now, in addition to that, one thing that's fairly interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, one thing that's fairly interesting that we can take a look at, if I can actually type it all, is Bitcoin Gold now has its first futures market. It's pretty damn small though. So if we pop down here, this was from yesterday. This is on the Merkle.com. I will link to this in the description, but they have, there is a Brazilian futures market for Bitcoin gold that is available. It was initially started off trading at 0 0.045 Bitcoin per Bitcoin gold. And right now it is trading up at about 0 0.07. Now, as we're looking at this, the big thing you want to, you know, the big thing you want to look at is the Bitcoin volume here, it's basically non-existent. I mean, we're talking about, we're talking about a futures market that which is trading about $20,000 in the past 24 hours. So pretty, pretty small. So let's take this with a grain of salt. But even if this was was somewhat close to being accurate, the overall valuation of um, the overall valuation right now, according to present time, so let's say it's 0 0.07. Uh, and the price of Bitcoin right now is $5,806. We're talking about about a $400 Bitcoin gold dividend, essentially, or Bitcoin gold being worth about $405 or so if you, uh, if you have a Bitcoin. So if you have one Bitcoin, you're going to get about $400 worth of Bitcoin gold for the time being. Will that actually be the case? I, I think that value is probably pretty high. Um, you know, looking at the overall volume here, I mean, one person with $20,000 could jack this through the roof. So let's not get too crazy about it. But I think that overall, it's it's an interesting thing to to consider. The one thing too, though, is that the Segwit2x, I've, I've talked a little bit about Segwit2x previously. I am personally not a fan of Segwit2x, but I think Segwit2x is going to be a much bigger deal in the marketplace than Bitcoin gold. And you can look simply at the futures market to determine that in a lot of cases, the Bitcoin gold, the Bitcoin Segwit 2x market is trading at much higher volumes than this market is right here. This is basically a non existent market, you know, $20,000 $20, or so in daily, uh, you know, 24 hour trading. So I think the Segwit 2x, the B2x market is going to be a much bigger deal. I think you're going to get more value for holding your Bitcoin with Segwit 2x. Um, but Either way, I'm not a fan of, of either crypto, you know, either either Bitcoin Gold or Segwit 2x really moving forward. With that being said, I think that Bitcoin Gold is something that will likely struggle once it hits the marketplace. I'm personally going to be selling my Bitcoin Gold once I get it. Uh, again, I have that link to the strategy video where I talk about my strategy in a little bit more depth and what I think you know in some detail about Segwit 2x as well. But I'm personally going to be selling my Bitcoin gold uh pretty much i think as soon as i get it just to um increase my bitcoin stack a little bit more and, and hopefully get some more exposure to bitcoin and treat this as essentially a free dividend so that's that's really my thought process on on the, with that approach is to sell you know to, to be selling bitcoin gold back into bitcoin because i simply don't think that having a fork and Having a fork and providing non-ASIC mining is really a differentiation enough. There's a lot of other cryptos out there that have tried to do the non-ASIC mining. Some have had success, some haven't. But either way, they're not the first to do it. They're not going to be the last to do it. And I really don't think it's that big of a damn deal. So I think Bitcoin gold is going to struggle once it hits the market. Now, in addition to that, guys, I do think that 
Uh, I do really believe that Segwit2x, just because of the support it has from the overall businesses that have signed on, while it has a total lack of user consensus and it's, there's a, it's a very contentious argument, it's a very contentious hard fork, um, I do think that Segwit2x or B2x is going to have a much bigger impact um, on the overall cryptocurrency prices in general, on the Bitcoin prices in general. So I think that's really going to be the one that you're going to want to keep an eye on and not as much Bitcoin gold. I think a lot of people right now are concentrating heavily on Bitcoin gold and they're making a big deal out of that, big deal out of it. But in my mind, Segwit2x is the is the, the hard fork that you're really going to want to pay attention to, and you're going to want to you know have your 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 eyes and uh, eyes and ears on moving forward. So that would be my best advice as far as looking at this is don't get too caught up with Bitcoin Gold. I really think that um, Segwit2x is going to have the bigger impact on the market just because it has a lot more backing from big companies and it's going to have a lot more user or it's going to it's not going to have more user support it's going to have more company support it's probably going to have greater accessibility that's the big thing that i think you want to you know you want to be concerned about is the overall accessibility for bitcoin gold uh, or the lack thereof and the the more accessible bitcoin segwit 2x or b2x uh, and again too like i said i'll I linked to that video below where I talked about my overall strategy, but my strategy really for both is just using it as a dividend where I'm going to reinvest that dividend back into Bitcoin. So not getting too crazy, really, really doubting that I'll be holding either cryptocurrency long term because they don't see a big future for either of them. But wanted to just give you guys my quick thoughts on Bitcoin gold, why I think it's really not that big of a deal while it's and why it's I'm I'm not positive on well, I'm not really positive on, on Bitcoin gold in general. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, my name is Crypto Bobby. I do daily videos on the subject of cryptocurrency as well as live YouTube crypto happy hour where I have a couple of beers with you guys, talk a little bit about what's happening in the world of crypto and answer as many of your questions as possible. Um, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, if you haven't been around here for a while. So you get the notifications anytime I do go live or new videos do come out so you can stay as up to date as possible. And thank you guys so much for your time and watching this. If by any chance, if you have your own specific thoughts on Bitcoin gold and on B2X as well, but if you have thoughts on Bitcoin gold, uh, I would love to hear them, whether you're positive or negative. It's always helpful for me to understand what everybody's thinking, what the overall market consensus is, what people are thinking about moving forward. So definitely let me know in the comments below. Crypto Bobby signing out. Peace.